Welcome. Welcome. By the end of the first quarter of the 21st century, freedom was dead in America. Beginning with a large-scale military coup d'etat that erupted in various cities throughout the nation, the rebels seized power in all the central institutions of government. The entire nation appeared to have fallen completely into the hands of the coup d'etat forces. However, one final hope in opposing the coup d'etat forces remained. This final hope being the U.S. president himself. Michael Wilson, the 47th president of the United States, equipped with a special mobile armored ops suit developed in secret by the military, boldly waged his own personal war alone to take back America's freedom. Get out my special op suit, Jody. It looks like a fancy party is about to start. This kind of party is a first for me. Mr. President? Okay, let's party! Welcome to the White House. Mr. President, escape via the Eagle Star in the underground base. Now I'll open the entryway to the underground base. Please give your guests some face time with the Commander-in-Chief. President. Enter the underground base using this oversized back door here. The enemy are just slowly foot soldiers. Even if they aim at you and fire, they're no match for your special heavy mobile armor.
moment, sir. W's you rescued. for the underground. I'll be back. President, the Eagle Star is beyond here. Get going before the enemy chases after you. Proceed ahead while destroying anything that stands in your way. Switching over your weapons, depending on the situation, is the main key to fighting. Try out the weapons in your backpack as you like. The aircraft hangar is behind the barrier. I'll open the barrier now. Please wait a moment. Something quite dangerous awaits, but with missiles of that caliber, if you aim and fire, you should be able to easily shoot them down. President, the barrier has been opened. Air Force One's launch preparations will be complete soon. Well, looky here. Four guests. Well, I guess they won't be voting for you next term. Mr. President, the enemy is taking aim at Air Force One. Please be careful. <laughs>
Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. How's that for a ticketless chicken? Like they were ever invited, they're definitely Michael. <laughs> Mr. President, it looks like this party is just getting started. Jody, update me as to the status of the nation. The Pentagon, the United Nations, and all central government institutions have fallen into the hands of the Vice President. Have they? Mr. President, believe in your own justice. I'm sure your father would have told you the same. Jody, how's my schedule look for today? You've got a conference and dinner party at the Japanese Embassy regarding wildlife protection. Oh yeah. Sorry, but I'll have to cancel that. I'm heading out to save America. Can you let them know I won't be able to make it? Yes, Mr. President. To my beloved fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your American justice and freedom supporter. First of all, what I would like to tell each and every one of you is this. Recent events were not a mere coup d'etat, but rather a revolution to correct the wrongs in the United States of America. To our regret, our nation is in a crisis situation. 
Since 2010, domestic terrorism problems have increased rapidly. Economic disputes originating from the exhaustion of fossil fuels and the sudden rise in unemployment due to the influx of large-scale immigration. Neither the current president nor the American government took actions to address these various problems. On the contrary, they have filled their own pockets adhering to terrorist cells. To correct this situation, Richard Hawk, Arizona insurrection hero and vice president of the old government and the U.S. military rose to the task at hand. Much like our ancestors did, based in a belief of winning freedom and based in the belief of an independent war and based in the belief in this great nation. However, to our regret, an evil to disobey this belief exists in the United States of America too. And here is that evil. This villainous terrorist who first appeared in Washington and began his unjust rampage goes by the alias Metal Wolf. His current whereabouts are unknown. While all of America will be under martial law until Metal Wolf is caught, please do not confuse the issues at hand. Without fail, the U.S. military elite forces with a combined strength of 1.5 million promise to smash this unforgivable evil to pieces. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your special remedy for all kinds of evil. circles the White House and is now closing in. Fortunately though, because the enemy force is at a stage where it is still requesting reinforcements, it seems possible to get away now. While eliminating the enemies in your way, please reach the underground base promptly and board Air Force One. This mission goes by the call name In the Nick of Time, the great escape from the White House. Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President.